this is Dampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am here- Oh, This is the music soaring! Look at that! It's like it knew I was about to start the episode. It had been there, peacefully plucking away in the background, and I did the intro and it started soaring. Anyway, speaking of soaring, I am in the bird village. It's Rito Village. We are up high on this uh, on this cliff, I guess, on the, the top here. And uh, there's a little baby Rito down here. I'm not going to talk to them. But the main reason I'm here is because... Right, where is it? It's never hard to find. There we go. That is, we now know its name, Var Meadow. And apparently, any of the Rito that go near it, it shoots it down. It doesn't seem to be doing, like, much bad. I don't know why they're really going after it, to be fair. It just seems to be chilling out there. But apparently there is a Rito, a Rito warrior uh, that I can team up with to, to hopefully go and uh, try and get inside of it. But first, let's just go and speak to, to this girl and see what she needs help with. Want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome, me too. Ahem. Oh, they're so cute. They're so unbelievably cute. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest. And when he suddenly he saw a huge snow white birdie with his wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie. And as he got a little closer to the white birdie, grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed. Well, what, what was it? I always get sleepy around that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know uh, there were big trees, though. It's, look, it's over there. You can see it. Grandpa said he saw the snow white birdie from that tree. Um, now, now what did that snow white birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Oh. The bird in the mountain. So is it like, is it just that tree up there? It doesn't seem like a, a pretty big tree. It just seems like a normal tree, but it is is—it is very noticeable, doesn't it? It just, just stand out, that one tree at the, the very top. So at some point I head up there. I'll uh, probably buy the, the, the clothes from the village here that allow me to, to stay warm before I think about heading up there. I have clothes that keep me warm already, but they don't keep me very warm. <laughs> anyway, so we need to try and track down where this warrior is. And I looked at my mission and it said that to climb this random mountain here. No, it said that to, to speak to, to his, uh, his wife. Uh, who is probably going to, to know where he is, and that seems to, to make sense. Should we go up to the top first? Do you reckon there's anything on the top of this mountain? Well, we, we can probably go to the top of the mountain when we glide down from the Divine Beast, so we probably don't need to, to worry about that too much. So I guess we just need to, to find someone with a mission marker above their head, and then that's probably going to, to be their wife. And then once I've uh, spoke to, to her, I think I'm going to go and try and track down the tower. There's the, the tower of the, the region, which I haven't yet explored, uh, so I really want to, to go and check that out, uh, so I can kind of fill in the, the rest of the, the region and kind of see uh, what else I want to do here. I'm getting a bit worried, though, because I've kind of gone down the entire way from the, the village, and no one no one seemed to have stood out as being the, the wife. Yeah, like, this is this is like the, the main entrance way here. And is there anything showing up on my on my map? I mean, there is like a marker, but I thought that was just for where the Divine Beast is. Oh, that guy was no help whatsoever at all, was he? <laughs> I don't know where to, to go then. Let's go and look up and maybe just go and briefly speak to everyone. Maybe it's the, the shopkeeper? Hello, welcome, blah, 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 Slippery Falcon. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, let's just go and like rush through talking to, to everyone and uh, see if we can uh, track down who this person's wife is. I think I might have tracked it down. This is one of the, the only retail that doesn't say their name above their head. And apparently I'm looking for, for Saki. So let's uh, go and speak to, to this person. Oh, there we go. We have. We found her. This is the, the wife here. Lovely plumage. I love that hairstyle. Is it hair? Or is it feathers? Or is it a wig? I don't quite know how it works for Farito. Let's not offend her, though. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband Tiber in the fight against Meadow. But to tell you the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. That's fine, that's exactly why I came to you. Where did he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. 
It's in Doorknox Pass at the base of Herber Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take off from uh, Ravili's Landing, it's a straight shot down the flight range. To the flight range. <laughs> uh, Ravali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champions, Ravali. So named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. What a horrible day? I think we're about to, to have a, a Rito history lesson by the, the sounds of things. Or we're just going to keep zooming in on the landing pad and then my face. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't find that funny, but that seemed kind of ridiculous. Oh, we're having a memory! We're having a flashback. Oh, I love these. Oh, and we're finding out about the Divine Beast. Oh, look, it's good there. It hasn't been corrupted at this point. I guess this is pretty soon after it had just been built. So this is a... Was it a hundred years ago, was it? That this is supposed to, to have been? Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! Well, he loved himself a lot, didn't he? <laughs> He's true, though. I don't have any way to get up to the, the Divine Beast. I didn't back then, and I don't now. I need help! <gasps> Descendant! Descendant! Are you alright? My apologies. I fear I have said too much. Is there anything... There is... If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, update on the map. So this is going to be telling me where I need to, to go. So where... Oh, is it here? Ah, okay, so literally in the opposite direction of where I was planning to, to head to do the tower. But I definitely want to, to get the, the map filled in before heading to, to um, where I need to anyway. So we can head down south, fill in the tower, then we can of course just teleport back to, to the village anyway, and then we can go and head up there. So that's going to be the plan, and it looks like I need to go in exactly that direction to the, the tower. Let me see uh, if from this landing pad I can see the tower. Oh, there we go! Hard to miss. <laughs> right on the top there. We are going to have a little bit of climbing to do by the, the looks of things. And oh, what's going on down there? It looks like there's, as always, some mysterious thing to explore. You're never just walking in a straight line, not encountering anything, are you? So yeah, let's go and see what this thing is and keep heading forward. It really doesn't seem too far away, to, to be honest. It's just not a, a very clear straight path to, to get to it, which seems to, to be the, the problem. But it looks like I need to get... Do I need to get an orb into here? I don't know if I do actually. No, there doesn't seem to be an opening for it. How? How do I get this thing to open up? Open up! Can I just like jump and bang it? Nope, that's not really helping me very much. I think there might be a, a bow coblin camp up there by the looks of things. We should uh, probably avoid that. We could take them out actually. It's been a while since we've tried to, to clear out a, a bow coblin camp. So they have some of the um, uh, they have some of the explosive barrels. So it'd be good to to make the the most of that and see if I can blow them up. And let's see if we can sneak up a, a little bit closer then, shall we? Just to, just to, to be able to, to get a good surprise attack. And oh, is there one down there? I think there's one down at the, the ground as well by the, the looks of things. So let's make sure we avoid that one. Maybe we could go and take out that one there first. Oh, that one's got quite a lot of health, actually. 
That one's got 240 health. What is it? What is it down there? Is that a boat goblin? Yeah, it is. It's just quite a big one. Oh, I've been spotted. I have been spotted. Right, let's just go straight for the barrels. There we go. That did loads and loads and loads of damage against them. Uh, so now I just need to, to be able to, to hopefully go and finish them all off. That bomb was absolutely rubbish. And there's this one here with full health still here. Let's do a big jump back because <laughs> he's got a really big club. And I do not want to, to get whacked with, uh, with that. Uh, so, oh, oh, no. I need to drop back again. Need to drop back again. I could maybe go for a deflection might be a smarter way of doing it. Let's stay back for for now though, because he's just non-stop spinning it and we do not want to, do not want to, to get involved with that. But now here's my chance. While he's stunned, I can run in and do a whole load of damage. There we go. That worked out pretty well. This guy doesn't have a weapon. This guy doesn't have anything. So that one shouldn't be uh, too, duff to, uh, too, duff, too tough to, to deal with. So let's just go and take that one out. And then this one's almost destroyed as well. I'm not using the, the strongest weapon, but I'm not against the, the strongest enemies either. So it's probably a, a good time to, to make the, the use of this sword and then save the the best weapons for going up against the, the tougher enemies and oh we have an archer here as well let's try and sneak up to, to this guy maybe we could go for an aerial attack uh, let me just try and do a cool move i don't need to do it because it's going to be wasting an arrow but let's go for like a slow motion action movie attack and go Bow. That is cool. That is like the most satisfying thing to, to do in this game, I think. <laughs> just the slow motion arrow shot. Was that the more taken out though? I think that's uh, that's the more the more taken out. It's really good doing it because I keep skipping so much of the of the fights, and it means I'm not getting any of the um, the monster parts. And the monster parts are useful for so many different things. It's really kind of not helping me out. Like even though it means that I don't die too much because I'm skipping the the fights, it means I'm not getting all of the the goodies that I would have got otherwise. Is there anything? Is there anything useful up there? I don't think there's even like a, a chest or anything up there. Okay, still good to, to clear them out all of the, the same. And uh, now we can go and just use the... Um Oh uh, yeah, use the, the little cooking pot here uh, just to, to sleep till morning. So it's about to, to become dark and even more of the, the googlies come out at night time. So it'd be good to, to skip until the, the morning. And I reckon we can get to the tower today. I don't think there's any reason why we can't do it. It did look like there was a bit of a path up the, the mountain, didn't it? This is quite a pretty place. You don't reckon this is one of the, the, the places where the memories are, do you? I haven't really checked in on that in a while, have I? So these are all of the different... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look, look, look here, look here, look here. You can see in the background, you can see Var Meadow in the background. So right, we need, is that a shrine? I think that's like a destroyed shrine and then some ruins. It's really hard to see which angle we're looking at it from, but keep an eye out for that area because that is gonna be a very standout thing. It's hard to see, it's, oh look, there's a heart. I didn't even realize that. Look, there's a heart in the, the middle of the, the mountain there. So we're definitely not at the right angle because we would have seen the, the heart from the, the picture. Uh, but yeah, do keep an eye out for any ruins or, or any destroyed guardians like that down there because uh, those are, are really important to, to go and try and get all of those different memories. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go and start hiking our way up the, the mountain, I guess. It looks like there's a bit of a trail. Looks like we're not just climbing up the, the sheer path. And this is why I decided to put up my stamina rather than anything else. In fact, you know what I might do is do I have a a hasty elixir uh, elixir because that will make things much faster so there's a yep a 13 minute one here let's just go and drink that and just to, to speed me up it doesn't do a, a huge huge difference but uh, when you're just trekking a, a long way like this it's definitely useful to, to have and it speeds up your climbing as well so when i get to the uh, the tower itself it means i should be able to, to get up even quicker so periods like this all i'm doing is just korok seed hunting and whoa and <laughs> uh, these are uh, the choo choo jelly uh, enemies turn trying to take them out uh, as well these guys definitely aren't too strong they just kind of surprise you which is the the big worry about them there are like electric ones and fire ones and stuff that are a little bit more deadly but the standard ones aren't the the biggest deal to to be able to to take out with so where is the tower i can't even see the the tower i'm assuming i am going in the the right direction yep there we go there's the the tower on the other side of the mountain but oh look Oh no, it's surrounded by all the corruption stuff. We have faced one before that was surrounded by all of that stuff as well. And it wasn't the, the easiest thing in the, the world to, to be able to, to deal with. So it might not be the easiest thing in the world. But soon as we're up here, I kind of want to check out this rock. This just rock looked interesting. And normally when there's something interesting like, you know, that lone tree on the top of a mountain or anything along those lines, normally there's something there. Like, they don't normally have just interesting things for no reason, so there might be something up here. There's an enemy up here, and these guys are pretty tough. And oh no, it spotted me! I was gonna hope to, I was gonna hope to, to try and surprise it, but it was able to, to spot me. Let's go and try and hit it with another arrow, and then while it's on the, the ground, is the, the best time to finish them off, because oh no, once it starts teleporting, that's when things get a little bit more dangerous, and a little bit more difficult to, to deal with. And look, you can see just about where it's starting. Oh, it's right in front of me! There we go! I was able to, <laughs> I was able to, to knock it down again. Let's try and 
and getting a few swipes of the, the sword. Did I take it out? Oh no, that was my sword breaking. I haven't taken it out. That was just my, my sword breaking. Let's go and try and use the, the royal broadsword. And oh look, you can see the, the shadow of Var Meadow coming in over us. This is him nearly taking out one more big swipe. But oh, I missed him. I missed him. But there we go. I was able to, to take him out. And there he goes sliding down the, the hill. Let's not worry about getting the, the, the thunderstorm rob, uh, rod. It's not the, the best thing in the, the world anyway. So we can skip that. Uh, but let's go and look up here. This is the, the place I was meaning to, to check out. It just seems like interesting. Like this little gap here through the, the mountains. There's got to be something here. And aha, I knew it. I knew there'd be something here. I don't know if I've got room to, to pick this up. Actually, I do, because my other sword just broke. So we have the Great Thunderblade. This magic-infused great sword was forged by the Hylian royal family using lightning from the Hyrule Hills. Attack when the blade glows golden to expel lightning. Now, that is what I call a worth, the uh, the, door t uh, the detour. <laughs> right then, let's go to the uh, the tower then. It's literally right here. As I said, it's not going to be the, the easiest thing in the, the world, mainly because of all of the, the corruption about it, but we will be able to find a, some way up there. One way or another, we are going to make our way up to the top of that tower. We have a rather large ravine to, to skip over first, though, so <laughs> is there a better way to do this? I don't think there is. Oh, look down there. There's like giant craters down in the ground. I wonder what caused them. I don't want to face whatever caused them, but I wonder what did cause them. I guess just going, I guess just gliding onto the mountain and then climbing up the be the rest of the way would be the best uh, thing to, to do here. What I can do is I can put on my climbing gear clothes. Uh, this one. Yeah, it's literally called climbing gear. So if I go and put that on now, uh, then that means that uh, when I do get to the, the climbing, I'll be able to, to climb up uh, a little bit faster. To be fair, though, I'm always surprised at how far I'm able to actually paraglide because I thought I'd have to, to do a lot more climbing than I'm going to, to need to. You can really get some distance. You don't move forward very fast, but you don't drop down very fast either. So it's quite easy just to, to gradually glide to, to where you need to, to go. And I'm able to, to get some of this ore here. I really want another hammer or something to be able to gather all of these up. Can I use an axe? Would an axe work? I think, oh, I don't know if it will. I think I'm just gonna have to use bombs. I hate using bombs though, because it just means that one half the time I blow myself up because I don't run away, and the other times I just blow everything that I was going to, to gather away, which uh, isn't the most useful thing in the, in the world either. But there we go. I was able to, to grab this stuff easy enough. Uh, a whole bunch of luminous stone, but there are a whole load of enemies over there. So one thing that I haven't really played around with very much since I got it is my bow goblin costume. Basically, I got a, a hood that makes me look like a bow goblin. One, it looks ridiculous, but also it means that it will allow me to blend in with them. So I don't know if it means I'm just going to be able to, to walk straight past them. I do need to be careful because there isn't only bow goblins there. Actually, you know what? I think I might just better skip these guys. With this climbing gear, I should be able to climb up here pretty fast. So let's just see if I can skip that group. I've had a, enough battling bow goblins for today. And let's just see if I can go and climb up this mountain. I can kind of take a bit of a break here. And whoa, that was terrifying then. I thought that something was going to land on my head or something. Then I thought something was falling on me. But it's just the, <laughs> the, the shadow again. So there we go. That was a, a nice way to, to skip that out. And whoa big group of enemies up here. But look at those swords. I gotta fight them. I can't leave them. Right, they're not bow goblins, so that's not going to, to help me. Uh, so this is gonna put my attack up. That might be a, a good thing to, to be able to, to do here. But look at all of those swords. There's so many of them. Let's throw a bomb and just scatter them all, because I know they're gonna go and run and try and grab the swords, and if I can stop them from getting the swords, that might be handy. But oh, I was using the wrong uh, the wrong weapon. Let's use the, uh, the Thunder Blade, shall we? I think I can't change it while I'm swinging, but there we go. Now I can change to the, the Thunder Blade, and instead about doing it like when it glows or something to do lightning attacks, seem to be pretty effective, and there we go. I was able to, to get a lightning uh, attacker on this guy here. Let's just try and focus in and try and do some more damage, because I'm not doing a huge amount of damage, and they are doing a lot of damage against me. I think eating something to, to add loads of extra hearts would be a great idea. There we go. 15 extra hearts. That is going to, to help me out big time because these guys are doing loads and loads and loads of damage against me. Let's maybe back off, uh, do a, another bomb in case they run into it uh, to, to try and send them flying. But they're destroying me. These guys are tough. These guys are really, really, really tough right now. But I'm doing it. I'm gradually doing the, the damage, and I want to, to grab some of these swords when I can pick them up. So let's uh, let's stick with it, and let's see if I can keep finishing them off. How much damage is this lightning sword doing? I don't know if it's doing that much damage, but it's good because when I hit them, it kind of keeps them in place for a while. So even if it doesn't do the, the most damage, hopefully it's going to be worth it anyway. No, no, no. They knocked me off. 
That nearly killed me. That so, so nearly killed me. But this is going to give me full recovery and go and get some of my hearts up again. But I want to be careful because I, I nearly got knocked down into to those guys. I know they've seen me. They've seen me. Let's go and try and get back up to the this side of this mountain as well. I should probably change my clothes around as well. Because I think I still had the, the climbing gear on. And I should probably have something to, to put my defense up. Seeing as they're doing loads and loads of damage against me. So let's go and put on... Uh, I think this is my best thing in terms of defense. So maybe that is why I was getting destroyed so much. So they're all relatively weak. I do have an option to leave them at all. There is, do you reckon I could maybe get them with this barrel? There's kind of that big thing in the, the way, but that could have been a good way to get them. What about maybe climbing up above them and shooting arrows down at them? That could work. Maybe unless we could try and jump down and use a bomb arrow in between the middle of them all. That could be pretty effective. Right, let's go and uh, jump off from, uh, from here. And then while in the air, let's just fire that into the middle of all of them. And there we go. That did some nice damage. And there we go. Followed up with uh, another bomb arrow. Worked really, really well. Let's make sure we're using a, a better bow. And I might be able to finish some of these guys off with just some of the, the normal arrows. I just don't want them to get close to me because that is when they do loads of damage. So let's just go and see if we can get some headshots if we can. Finish this guy off with the, the lightning greatsword. There we go. I got the other one shocked as well. And there we go. That's them pretty much all taken out. One more shot from this should be enough to, to finish them off. And I was able to, to deal with it. I just need to use my stuff a bit more. I keep gathering up all of this stuff, buying all of these arrows and all of these special things. Then I'm always saving them. And what am I saving them for? Like, i got to use them at some point. And after that, I was able to, to get the, the Royal Claymore. Well, I will be able to, to get the, the Royal Claymore after I drop something. Let's get rid of this, uh, this boomerang. I never really use these, uh, these boomerangs. So let's go and drop that on the, the floor and pick up the, the Royal Greatsword instead. Right then, we need to, to keep on making our way up the, the mountain. It looks like I can kind of carry on going around this way. I don't know what these these boulders are for. They normally mean something. I don't know if there's like a Korok seed or something around here. Maybe, maybe if I roll this boulder into the other boulder, I'm always just questioning everything. Because of these Koroks, like every single thing I see, I'm like, why is that there? There's a purpose for everything. Why is there a random boulder here? I can't even move it. Let's maybe use the, um, uh, the, the stasis to make this a bit easier. If I give it one or two whacks with this, that should be enough to, to roll it down. It also looks like there's a, um... There's an area that I can blow up up there as well. So maybe we could blow that up. It might have some secret ore or something behind it. Anything happen? No, bound into the other boulder, but nothing interesting happened. All right, let's see if we can blow up that area there. And there we go. There was some uh, some secret ore behind it. Oh, it looks good. Is that gold? It looks like a, a special one. I think there might be some uh, some gold we found. Oh, no, topaz. Not gold, it's topaz. Should still be a very valuable to, to sell to someone in a, a shop to, to be able to, to feed my bad habit of buying loads and loads of arrows that cost way too much. And whoa! This boulder's rolling down. Oh, no! Okay, that one stopped right in front of me there, though, but that was a little bit scary if that one <laughs> kept going then. We are pretty much at the, the tower, though. We have basically arrived. Let's see if there is going to be a um, a clear route for us to, to be able to, to climb it, because if the, the corruption's got everywhere, then things won't be uh, looking really good for, for us. If this uh, calamity's kind of spread everywhere... Hmm, okay... Well, there's a tower there. I mean, if we climb that tower, we might be able to to then paraglide across. Oh, no, this tower here. If I climb to, to this tower here, like this mini one, I might then be able to, to paraglide across to the bigger one. Let's go and put the, the, the climbing gear back on, because that does make a big difference. It's handy having all of these extra hearts. Now, even though there's nothing uh, that's fighting us immediately, I know that if something dangerous does come up, we should be okay. Oh, look at the view. Oh, look. I think there's a great fairy fountain down there. There is a, There's another great fairy fountain down there, and a shrine over at that direction. Is there anywhere that I can see to get that memory, though? That's the, the question. Maybe from there? I can't see that destroyed guardian, though. That was the, the big landmark which I needed to, to focus on. And oh, look, there's an eye there. So shooting the eyes, that normally goes and gets rid of some of the uh, the corruption stuff. Is that going to clear all of it or just that section there? Okay, that got rid of a section. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, right then. That seems to, to be the, the way that we need to, to do this. If I go and grab onto to this here... We will now be able to, to climb up to, to here. And then is that going to give us a, a clear route? I think it is. I don't think there's any more calamity up the, the top here. So we should be fine to, to go and climb up the, the top. So let's go and do this as fast as we can. And then we can go and get the, the first proper big view of this region. So I pretty much just arrived at the, the region and went straight up to, to Rito Village and didn't explore anywhere else or kind of see what else is, is going on in the, the region, what secrets it has for, for us. So yeah, we can go and fill in the entire area on the, the map. And then in the, the next episode, that is when I'm going to go and uh, track 
down the the Rito kind of training area, it sounded like, and go and see uh, if there's going to be someone uh, who's going to be able to, to team up with me when I go up against uh, Var Meadow. And I'm looking forward to, to Var Meadow. Literally couldn't be more diff uh, different from a Varuto, which is a giant elephant. Instead, we have a, a giant flying thing. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be based on an animal. I'm guessing it is supposed to, but it's got propellers on it, and I haven't seen any animals with propellers. It reminds me more of a helicopter rather than a, an animal. Anyway, this is the, the tower filled in, and as expected, a, a very dramatic view of the landscape. So that's the edge of the world there. All of those mountains in the distance, there's no way to, to get to them. So we are literally right on the, the very edge of the, the world at the moment, but having this as a, a quick travel point is going to be very important. And now I can go and check out the, the map and see uh, what new secrets it's going to, to reveal. It's just nice to, to get the names of all of the, the different areas as well. And you can see the, the hole in that mountain. It doesn't look like a heart anymore. I guess it only looks at a heart, look, looks like a heart when you're looking at it from the the exact right angle. That's pretty cool. I love that when they do stuff like that. So there we go. Here's the the whole region uh, completely filled in, and let's go and check out what else there there is to explore. So, um, oh, okay. <laughs> Let me go and get my Sheikah Slate back out, and then I can go and look at the, the map. So yeah, this is all the, the edge of the, the world here. I am down here. That's where the, the village is, and then that is where I'm going to, to be heading to in the, the future. There are a bunch of extra stuff down here, like the, the shrine and stuff, so maybe I should take a little quick detour, at least to the... um. Uh, at least to, to where the um, the Great Fairy Fountain is. So I can maybe fly down to, to there, grab some of the uh, the goodies that seem to be around the, the area, not worry about these shrines and stuff for, for now, but then teleport back to Torito Village and start heading in literally the opposite area. There's another shrine and some interesting looking things over there. There's a stable down there as well. So that is going to be an area I will explore in a future episode. But for now, that is the, the end of this one here. As always, links down in the description to the playlist and the next episode if you want to carry on watching my Zelda Breath of the Wild Let's Play. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!